The expected additional burden to train commuters finally took effect today. Despite numerous announcements, some passengers still expressed surprise with the fare hike, which the LRT management says is a necessary growing pain for the train system to sustain operations or risk being yet another ambitious project that government would fail to maintain. Karen Villanda has more. From Antipolo, Ivy used to save 20 pesos for her fare on the LRT2 commute to Cubao. But this morning... Pag Cubao, ay, nagtaas nga ng 5. 20 lang yan eh, dati. Pagaya niya, pag 20 lang yung pera ko, syempre maghanap ako ng 5 sa wallet ko or sa bag ko kasi dadagdag ko kasi 25 na yung Cubao eh. Eh dati 20 lang, may madukot akong 20, okay na. Makakarating na ako ng Cubao. Ayan, 20... 20. O, ba sa kulang pa ng <laughs> Pwede na yan. May 6 naman ako sa nabalahan. From the previous 28 pesos from Recto to Antipolo, the fare has increased to 33 pesos for the stored value card and 35 pesos for the single journey ticket. There is a 20% discount for students, senior citizens, and persons with disabilities, so the new discounted price is now 28 pesos. That's why Jasmine has no option left but to ask for more allowance from her parents. Sa akin po, syempre, ano, malaki po yung impa kasi imbis po yung, sa akin din po yung dos pa. Lalo na po, bahal ngayon yung mga bilihin o pagkain po, pagkain ko na lang po sana. Imbis sa dati po, um, kaya ko na po yung pagkasya yung 150, Kasama na po yung food ko doon kasi nagla-lunch naman, ay nagla-lunch or depende po sa schedule ko or nagbe-breakfast naman po ako sa bahay. Pero ngayon po ano, 200 or ganun po. According to LRT2 management, they expect to collect 100 million pesos annually with the new and increased fares. But less the common carrier's tax to pay to the government, what remains will be used for the operational expenses, which is not enough using the previous fare rates. Also, through additional charges, upgraded parts can be bought for the additional trains, especially with the LRT2 system running for over 20 years. The LRT2 subsidy requested from the government will also be reduced, while the construction of a train station going to Manila port will resume. Sa ngayon kasi, yung 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 nalilikom natin sa pamasahe kulang yan eh actually sa operations sa maintenance so dagdag lang ito imagine kung kung wala tong fare increase hihingi na nga namin yung 10 billion para doon sa Y16 mangingi pa kami ng para sa pang uh, pagsustain ng operations maintenance natin so yun ang purpose no na Sana kung mabawasan yung national subsidy, yun, magagamit natin doon sa West Extension ngayon. Cabrera clarified the issue regarding the fare hike was not consulted as it undergone public consultation and public hearing. Yung, yung mga nagpuprotesta, of course, kas- karapatan ng kahit sino yan eh, di ba? And if you want to go to the court, ganun din, karapatin din ng bawat mamamayan natin na mag- sumangguni sa korte. At hindi natin sila pwedeng pigilan. Karen Villanda for The Nation.